Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tactics Academy, and in this week's lesson, we're doing the classic standard Green Dolphin Street. So we're doing Green Dolphin Street in three ways. For the beginner version, we're just taking that melody nice and steadily at 120 BPM, and I've added in some decorations and variations to make it sound a bit more interesting. For the intermediate version, we're stepping up to 155 BPM, and we've also got a chorus and a half of solo as well. And for the advanced version, it's the same setup, but we're going up to 190 BPM. Now the PDFs for each of these versions are available in the free library at onlinesaxacademy.com and those of you that are premium members will get access to the premium library where we also have the performance tracks to download and the backing tracks as well. Okay, so now it's time for the beginner version. If it feels a bit fast at first, you can always slow it down using YouTube's playback speed settings or if you've downloaded the track from the premium library, you'll be able to put it into any app that can slow down music as well. Right, now it's time for the intermediate version. In here we've got that chorus and a half of solo. In the B sections we've got lots of 2-5-1s. If you're someone that's studying improvisation and jazz you've probably heard about these 2-5-1s. Down below in the description I have another video where I covered a workout for 2-5-1s where we've got loads of phrases that you can try. And what you can do is take some of those phrases and try applying them to this tune.
Now, along with those 2-5-1 phrases in the B section, during the A section, I'd recommend taking some of the rhythmic content. So not necessarily the notes, but just the rhythms I'm using. Have a go at taking those rhythms, but using your own notes to create lines, and that will hopefully push you into directions that you haven't played before and expand your rhythmic palette. All right, so here's the advanced version. If you enjoyed this lesson and you find those resources useful, there's also a link to the Buy Me A Coffee page and your support is very much appreciated. Along with this, do consider becoming a premium member at onlinesaxacademy.com where you'll get access to all the material in the premium library. We've now also got a courses section, which I'm building out each week. We're starting with a practical music theory course, which will help explain all these chord symbols and reading lead sheets and modes and all of that stuff will make it really clear and applicable for when you're improvising and playing, or if you just want to have a more general understanding of how this music is made. All right, that's it for this week, guys. I'll see you next week.